Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the 34th Global World Tournament is right around the corner. In fact, uh, we're only about, let's see, three days away. So, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of everything we can expect to get from this tournament, including the new unit, awakenings, and potential rewards. Okay, so with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And we're going to start here with the units first. As you can see, the ranking slash mission reward unit this time around is a brand new Bojack movie Trunks. I believe he's the first of his kind in the game so far. And overall, just a very solid unit. Of course, we'll be talking about exactly what he can do a little bit later in this video. But honestly, as much as I am like excited for the Trunks, because he is one of my favorite characters in the franchise, uh, I am way, way more hyped for this guy right here. The new local ranking reward, Tech LR Demon King Piccolo, finally replacing LR Yamcha for the first time in many, many tournaments. And this guy is essentially an upgrade to Yamcha in every single way, offensively, defensively, aesthetically. I think he has the best card art, or one of the best card arts in the entire game too, so I've been looking forward to this unit for a long time, can't wait to finally get my hands on him, and uh, maybe bring you guys some showcases too on some of the harder events in the game like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, and so on and so forth. Now for anybody that still needs copies of Yamcha, don't worry, he should be available on the Guaranteed SSR ticket banner, so you can still pull him over there, but uh, we were definitely due for an update. And uh, this guy was definitely, was definitely a good update over Yamcha, okay? So, uh, there you go guys, two new units coming for this tournament. The Bojack Movie Trunks, as well as the Demon King Piccolo. Now, there should also be another Dokkan Awakening listed here. It's not guaranteed, but for JP's 34th World Tournament, they got the Dokkan Awakening for STR High School Gohan. So I think that we're also gonna get him for this tournament. I'm not, you know, 100% sure, but I think it's very likely. So we'll cover the details for Trunks, Demi King Piccolo, and the High School Gohan later on in the video, all right? So from there, let's quickly talk about some potential rewards. And of course, um, if you guys have been through at least one or two world tournaments in the past, there shouldn't be that many surprises, but uh, we'll talk about it anyways, okay, for the newer players. So starting with the ranking rewards, obviously the higher that you rank, the better your rewards. Like for example, if you somehow get to number one overall in the world for this tournament, basically just no life it, don't sleep for 72 hours, then you can get 15 copies of the new Int Trunks, uh, 15 SSR, guaranteed SSR tickets, 15 of the world tournament tickets, 15 Elder Kai's, five of the diamond, Yes, Diamond Hercule statues, some Grand Kai's, and this is the craziest part, enough orbs to rainbow like 10 different units and some Awakening Medals, Training Items, Friend Points, all that good stuff. And if you are between two to three, similar rewards, just a little bit worse than number one. And uh, same thing for four to 10, just a little bit worse. Uh, 11 to 20, a little bit worse, and so on and so forth, right? Now I'm assuming that most of you guys aren't gonna be ranking in the top 1,000, which is where the orbs end, okay? So if you want orbs in your rewards, you do have to be in the top 1,000, which I, I think is pretty tough to get. Most of you guys probably aren't gonna do it. If you do, yo, more, more power to you. I respect that. But like World Tournament, honestly, is just such a boring game mode that I don't see myself ever getting to the top 1,000 again until they change it up somehow. But uh, yeah, those are the top 1,000 rewards. Obviously, the higher you go, the better your rewards will be. But uh, I would recommend most people, at the very least, to try to get into the top 20,000 because that will guarantee you one extra copy of the Int uh, Bojack movie Trunks. And that's gonna be the bottom right path. If, you're, if you ever plan to use him, then it's gonna make a big difference in his performance, right? Now, if you want to get in the top 10,000, you can get two copies for the top bottom right and top left path, and it's going to be even better. But uh, yeah, 20,000 for that one guaranteed copy, and if you go below 20,000, 50,000 to 20,000, it's going to be no trunks, but still some tickets, two Elder Kai's, 
and uh, a few other things. But the rewards for top 20,000 aren't too bad. You get two other guys, some tickets, a bunch of awakening medals, training items, and some platinum Hercule statues. So that's where I will probably end up being for this tournament. Maybe top 10,000 if I uh, really feel like trying a little bit, okay? So uh, those are the ranking rewards. And now we have the local rewards, and this is based on, of course, your local area, even though I don't actually think it's people around you. From what I've been told, it's just a random grouping of people, and sometimes you get some really big tryhards in your local area, and you just can't get to top, you know, one or two, uh, no matter how hard you try. It is, it is what it is, right? And uh, anyways, if you get number one overall in your local area, you get two copies of the new Demon King Piccolo, 50 of the World Tournament medals, three World Tournament tickets, seven Dragon Stones, which is pretty nice, uh, Platinum Hercule Statue, or sorry, uh, Diamond Hercule Statue, and some uh, Senzu Beans and Friend Points. If you're second or third, you get one copy of the Demon King Piccolo, some, you know, more rewards similar, just a little bit less, three stones, and uh, their other stuff too. And four to ten is still one copy of the Demon King Piccolo, 30 medals, and one Dragon Stone. Beyond number 10, you're not getting stones, but you're still going to be getting a copy of the Demon King Piccolo up until 150th. So essentially, as long as you put in a little bit of effort into the tournament, you should be getting the Demon King Piccolo. Like, like if you, unless you completely ignore it, I think everybody, if you want a copy, will get a copy. So that's pretty nice. Now, in terms of how many medals you need to awaken him, it's 7 from the SSR form to the TUR form, and then 70 for TUR to LR. So a total of 77 World Tournament medals are required here, okay? Now for the wins, uh, basically you're getting rewards for total wins up to 20, and you can get up to... Uh, I mean, if you only want the Dragon Stones, you only need 5 wins, right? 3 stones here, 1 stone here, 1 stone here for 5 stones. The remaining rewards are just tickets and some training locations. And then for the different tiers here, you're essentially ascending the tiers as you get points. I think you max out at the Beerus tier when you have like 5 million points, something like that. It's pretty, pretty chill actually. And you can get up to 10, 11, 12 stones here. And for the total score, you're getting rewards up to 30 million points. And they're getting, of course, some stones, some orbs, some kais, all that good stuff. And one highlight here, of course, is that at 23 million points, you get the new unit guaranteed. So if you want at least one copy of the trunks, you don't want to grind to like get in the top 10,000 or 20,000, at least get 23 million points to get the trunks guaranteed. Okay. And uh, after that, we also have the consecutive wins for some more stones. Here is one, two, three. Uh, eight, eight stones in total here, and that's if you get 15 wins in a row. Beyond that, up to 20 wins, we're just getting Elder Kai and some tickets, Hercule Statue, okay? And lastly, we have some extra missions. So there's one mission for getting to the semifinals the first time for one stone, and then three daily missions that reset, of course, every day for uh, one stone each. So that's one win, two wins, and three wins. Okay, so three stones a day, once you add everything up, let's say you do all of these things, you, you finish your, um, you know, uh, wins in a row, and, and score missions, and tier missions, and uh, total win missions, you should be getting just over 50 stones, which is, you know, a multi, it's not too bad, it's more than, like, uh, most events in this game, actually, boss rush, for example, is 35, usually, uh, infinite dragon ball history is around 20 something per stage, ultimate clash about 30, so yeah, 50 stones, it does require obviously more work than those other events, but if you got nothing else to do, then I do feel like it's worth it, especially if you're free to play. Okay, so those are your rewards, and finally, let's talk about these, uh, what's this? Fandom Trivia Star Wars Edition. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but I'll ignore it for now, let's talk about is Trunks here. So his leader skill is Super Int Types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%, Super Attack, Buster Cannon, Supreme Damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and passive is attack and defense plus 70%, changes Fizz Key Spheres to Rainbow Key Spheres, medium chance of evading enemies attack including Super Attack, 
and movie heroes category allies key plus 2, attack plus 20%, and defense plus 10%. Links are Messenger from the Future, the Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, Sea Fighters, and Dismal Future, and categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Bond of Master and Disciple, Movie Heroes, and Battle of Wits. Like I said, very solid, you got a little bit of attack and defense here, orb changing, ability to evade medium, ch medium chance is 25%, and also some support for Movie Heroes. Now of course, he does not have a token awakening yet, and from what we've seen for these world tournament unit awakenings in the past, uh, they become really good with token awakenings. So once this guy gets an awakening, I'm thinking he's going to have like 120% attack and defense, still changing orbs, maybe like a high chance of evading enemies attacks, and also like movie heroes, maybe like key plus 2, attack and defense plus like 30% or something like that, maybe that's too good, but it's going to be... He's going to be very good with the Awakening. So even though he doesn't seem as impressive right now, still solid, like I said. Um, he will be extremely good in the future, so still worth getting for now if you guys you know, have the time to grind the tournament. And uh, let's move on to now the Demon King Piccolo. Like I said, I think he has some of the best art in this game. No question. Like, this is just glorious, at least to me. I know I'm blocking a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let me... Take my face away. There's the art. Like, he just looks freaking dope, man. Honestly. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about his details now instead of just admiring his art. His leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. 12 key, raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And 18 key, uh, great lead raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is attack plus 6,000 per key sphere or per tech key sphere obtained. Reduces damage received by 50% with 5 or more key spheres obtained. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, tech excluded, to tech key spheres. Rejuvenates with the power of the Dragon Balls when conditions are met. Okay, and the conditions here are rejuvenate with the power of the Dragon Balls starting from the 7th turn from start of battle or when there is a DB Saga, World Tournament, or Dragon Ball Seekers category enemy. And as far as the Demon King Piccolo uh, rejuvenated form is super attack, 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage, passive is attack plus 6,666 per key sphere obtained, reduces damage received by 66% for 5 turns from start of turn, reduces damage received by 50% with 5 or more key spheres obtained starting from the 6th turn and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, tech excluded, to tech key spheres. And uh, his links are Revival, Thirst for Conquest, Incredible Adventure, Guides of Dragon Balls, Nightmare, Shadow of the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Resurrect Warriors, Namekians, Full Power, Dragon Ball Seekers, Time Travelers, DB Saga, and Terrifying Conquerors. So like I said, um, for a free to play unit, amazing tank, okay? And also, if you give him, give him a good amount of tech orbs, he can also put out some pretty solid damage. Um, I mean, definitely an upgrade over Yamcha in every single way. And that art, man, I just can't get over how dope that art is. It's like, it's, it's, it's awesome. Okay, so lastly, before we go, we gotta talk about this guy right here, which is the uh, high school Gohan, who should be getting his Dokken Awakening into this form. There you go. The art is a little bit polarizing. Some people really like it. Some people hate it. I think it's okay. Um, it does like his face looks a little bit weird, but it is what it is. And uh, for his awakening, his leader skill becomes super class key plus two HP, attack and defense plus sixty percent, super attack supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus fifty eight percent, which is meh, but he also reduces damage received by fifty eight percent. And super class, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. So you're not going to be looking for him to do much damage here, even though he does get a little bit of attack. He's mainly here to be a tank, right? 58% damage reduction on top of the 58% defense. It's going to make sure that he doesn't do or doesn't take that much damage uh, very often. And also be a very good support for super class, right? Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. That's great. So uh, yeah, I like his awakening a lot, actually. Um, you know, I'm not really always looking for units to, like, hit super hard. I like units that have different, you know, uses, 
have utility in this guy for like, you know, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, Legendary Goku event, anything like that where enemies do hit pretty hard. It's going to be quite effective and uh, I like it a lot. So I hope that we do get this Awakening for this World Tournament, but if not, then we'll get him probably for the next one, okay? And uh, Lynx, Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Z Fighters, Hero of Justice, and Shattering the Limit. Categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, and Super Saiyans. So that is everything you gotta know about this guy. We covered the Demon King Piccolo, and also the Trunks. I still don't know what this is, but probably don't want to fill it out, so we will just move on from that. And that is the upcoming 34th World Tournament on Global, guys. I know this video went a little bit longer than I mean I was hoping for and you were probably hoping for but there was a lot of stuff to cover we got it done now so uh, look forward to this tournament guys we haven't had one in actually when was the last one actually let me see uh, the last one on global was on July 2nd so it's been damn it's been like almost three months so yeah, uh, good luck to everybody who's going to be grinding it. Have fun. I will be streaming my grind probably for the entire weekend. So if you guys want to you know, do it together, then feel free to tune in. It should be a decent amount of fun. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out